monstrous power right here. There's a shit. I went to Sweden recently for the UFC card. The UFC flew me out there to be the guest fighter with Cub Swanson. Uh, you know, I've traveled around a lot of Europe. You know, I put Stockholm down as, as one of the most beautiful cities I've been to. Um, not just for the women, but, but the architecture and um, just how clean it was and you know, how friendly everybody was. What was, you know, really crazy, I'd never been to Stockholm was, you know, uh, didn't realize the fan base I had out there. They put on a huge parade, you know, the moment we landed and, uh, Pretty crazy stuff. My question is, uh, both of you, uh, if you had the chance to fight any fighter, who would it be? I mean, any division, any fighter. Do you have like a dream matchup? Uh, I'll keep it present. Um, I mean, recently uh, I called out Vandale Silver after after we beat Brian Stan. Um, everybody got carried away with all Vandale's fans, but. You know, I, I spoke with the UFC and, and, and the top guys and said, look, you know, I want, uh, give me some of the worst guys in the division. I'm not near the top 10, so um, Vito already has a fight, uh, Bisping already has a fight, so um, if, they're, if they're not going to give me these low guys, then, then give me guys further up, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Tom, to have Tom Watson here at Ring, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to have a guy like him, not only because of his ability and the skills that he possesses, but, but what he gives to the team too. Like he's, he's a, a guy that gives um, and just fits in really well with the team here. Um, so to have him, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to have a guy like that and works hard and is a great training partner and at the same time, can be able to give to everybody on the team. So I've, I've trained with Tom for a, for a while now. Um, in Denver, Albuquerque, and it just so happened we both moved out here uh, because of the weather and other things. And uh, The lifestyle. The lifestyle, yeah. T man, Tom, I mean, anyone who knows Tom, he's the hardest working guy in the sport. Even, even when he doesn't have a fight coming up, this dude's wrestling at colleges nonstop and doing jiu-jitsu and he's uh, sparring, so he, he's, uh, his work ethic is crazy. And we'll continue here in Hollywood Live next to the fighter from USA. Oh my gosh, his name is 